Hey, what's up, Crypto Universe? It's me, Eugene Tay. And it's me, Malcolm. You're watching Rock the Block Live here at Binance Festival Week in Singapore, Marina Bay Sands. And as you can see behind us, there's tons of booths. There's a lot of interesting projects there. Like we said, there was Tron, there was Qtum, there's Neo, and there's many more mm. showcasing what they have, updating the community of what they have done, and updating the people of what's the progress, the progress report, That's which right. is great, you know? And it's the biggest event to kickstart 2019. And I'm so happy that it's in Singapore because we can attend it. So for those of you at home watching this who are not able to make it down for the Binance Festival Week, let Malcolm and I tell you what you have been missing out. So this is a very interesting event packed with like talks and speakers. I think that's very normal. But it's a lot of technical talk today. Yeah, so but yeah, that's the that's interesting part because I think Binance really took a very technical mm. approach to it. Not only did they have a lot of speakers that are, uh, talked about a little bit more in depth about what, what the technology actually does, yeah. they actually just had a hackathon two days ago on a Saturday and a Sunday that was crazy. It yeah. was like 48 hours of pure grinding of codes and I heard from developers that they, didn't, they only slept like half an hour yeah. because they were in, it's a competition, right? right? They had to grind out certain things. So un unlike the rest of the events that you, have, you might have attended over the last few years, mm. uh, you entered 12 events last year. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and most of it is about ICO, about new projects, mm. but not for this event. Yeah. In fact, this event is not really designed for the mainstream audience. It's really for the tech and the developer community. Yeah, I totally agree. I think Binance is already a very solid and strong exchange. Mm. So they have the name. Yeah, what yeah. they're doing right now is trying to make their security stronger with their hackathons and also spreading the word on why it's important for you know, the difference between centralized right. exchanges, decentralized exchanges, what are they and why are they important? And I can almost get the sense that Binance is taking the position that it's not here to just market projects, yep. it's not interested in just another ICO game, uh, but really to look at the, the, the technical aspect of every single project, looking at it from a different angle, almost a very professional niche uh, demographic mm. for this. And yeah, I totally agree. And also, one more point is about branding. They are yeah. trying to brand themselves as the thought leader in this space, mm. which is great mm. because they do make the most headway and they are an exchange that a lot of people are using. Everyone knows Binance, yeah. right? And, and people believe in Binance. And yeah. you know, touch wood, they have not been hacked so far. And they're taking a lot of countermeasures to make sure that never happens because yeah. user confidence is extremely important mm. to finance. So what is your take on uh, being here at this event? What do you think 2019 promises to be? Well, I mean, we have been in a very bad market uh, throughout the 2018. Uh, 2019 has not started off fantastic either, mm. but I think it's hopeful. People are talking a lot about enterprise levels, uh, use, use cases for blockchain. Mm. Last time, it was a lot of, of discussions about dApps and, uh, and platforms. Mm. But now it's about enterprise structures, about private blockchains, about how companies that are already making money can actually implement blockchain into their business to make it better. I think these in enterprise uh, solutions will be kind of like the thing that leads uh, blockchain into 2019 mm. because there is just so much talk about it. You know, and the talk is translating to real work. So in a, in, a, in a sense, it's good for the industry. Yeah. Price action may not be affected so much because when you talk about enterprise solutions, you're not actually using any kind of currency or crypto. You know, you're really using the technology, the blockchain. That's right. And but I like also what you said that coming here today is also to, it's almost like a, a report card, a report segment yeah. where all the various projects who have raised funds before, they're coming here today to let you know how well they're doing. Like mm. Pundiax, for example, they're giving out cards. Uh, they're pretty <laughs> generous with the value that they're giving out. Yeah. Uh, and real time, download the app on the app store, get the card, transfer money, transfer money goes to your phone, beep, all done awesome. that far. So it's almost like this is ready to roll out on a massive yeah. level. I think it's very comforting uh, as an investor of you know, Tron and, you know, and other projects here to be able to see them face to face, ask them questions yeah. that I have, burning questions, clear up certain doubts that I have on the project and kind of like just really know that they're still doing things. Yeah. I think it's very important to know they're out there, they're still hustling, they're still trying to get stuff done. It's nice to know they are, they are actively pushing for it. That's you know? right. So all that was happening right here at Binance Festival Week in Marina Bay Sands, Singapore. Well, my name is Eugene. And my name is Malcolm. Oh, we'll see you guys in our next video. Also, if you want to uh, have a listen to what we got to say to you about our latest update, what's happening in the news today, well, catch us in the next video right after this.